Hello, welcome to the Learn American English channel, where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. In this video, we are going to learn advanced English phrases and words. Are you excited? This should be fun. Good morning, Celine. It's wonderful to see you eager to dive into more advanced English. Are you ready to level up your language skills? Absolutely, teacher. I'm here bright and early, ready to soak up all the knowledge you have to offer. Fantastic. Your enthusiasm is contagious. Let's embark on this learning journey together. Today, we're going to explore some important advanced English words and phrases that will truly elevate your language proficiency. Are you excited? Yes, I can't wait to get started. All right, let's dive into our first phrase. Make it work. Celine, have you ever come across this expression before? I believe I've heard it in passing, but I'm not entirely sure of its meaning. Could you please enlighten me? Absolutely. Make it work essentially means finding solutions or making the best out of a challenging situation, even with limited resources or unfavorable conditions. Ah, I see. So it's about being resourceful and adaptable? Exactly. It's about embracing creativity and resilience when faced with obstacles. Now, let's illustrate this with some examples to really grasp its usage. Great, I'm eager to see it in action. All right, imagine you're planning an outdoor event, but suddenly it starts pouring rain. Instead of canceling the event, you make it work by quickly setting up tents and rearranging activities indoors. Ah, so it's like adapting to the circumstances and finding a way to carry on despite the setback. Precisely. Another example could be in the kitchen. You're cooking a recipe, but halfway through, you realize you're missing a key ingredient. Instead of abandoning the dish, you get creative with what you have and make it work with substitutes or improvisations. That makes sense. So, making it work is all about problem solving and making the best out of a less than ideal situation. You've got it. Another phrase is, where, what, or why on earth? Celine, have you ever found yourself using this phrase? Oh, definitely. It's a phrase that often slips out when I'm utterly baffled by something. Precisely. It's like a verbal expression of confusion and disbelief. Now let's delve into its usage a bit more. Can you think of a situation where you might use this phrase? Hmm, maybe when someone tells me they've never heard of my favorite childhood cartoon. I'd be like, where on earth have you been hiding? Exactly. You've got the hang of it. We use this phrase to convey a sense of disbelief or astonishment when someone is completely unaware of something we consider common knowledge or widely known. Now, let's sprinkle some examples for better understanding. Sounds good. Lay them on me. Picture this scenario. You're discussing famous landmarks with a friend, and they mention they've never heard of the Eiffel Tower. You might respond with, what on earth? How could you not know about the Eiffel Tower? Ah, I get it. It's like showing you're surprised and can't quite believe it. Precisely. Another example could be if someone tells you they've never tasted chocolate. You might react with, where on earth have you been living? It's like expressing disbelief in a playful way, isn't it? Exactly. It's a lighthearted way to convey surprise and amusement at someone's lack of knowledge or experience in a particular area. So the next time you encounter such a situation, you'll know just the phrase to use. Thanks for clarifying that, teacher. I'll be sure to remember it for future conversations. Let's explore another interesting expression. Some may argue. It's a versatile phrase used to introduce varying viewpoints on a topic. Now, where do you think we might encounter this phrase? Hmm, maybe in debates or discussions? Spot on. We often use it in discussions, debates, or even in persuasive writing to acknowledge that there are different perspectives on an issue. Now, Let's dive into some examples to see how it works in action. Sounds great, I'm eager to learn. Imagine a debate about whether technology has more positive or negative effects on society. Someone might say, some may argue that technology connects people across the globe, while others believe it isolates individuals from face-to-face -face interaction. Ah, uh, so it's like acknowledging that there are different opinions on the topic. Exactly. It's a way to acknowledge the complexity of issues and show that there's not just one right answer. By using this phrase, we open the door to considering different perspectives and fostering a deeper understanding of the topic. That makes sense. It's like saying, hey, there's more than one way to look at this. Precisely, you've got it, Celine. Now let's explore another useful phrase. 
Making ends meet. What does that mean? Ah, good question. Making ends meet is when you have to manage your money carefully because you don't have much to spend. It's like solving a puzzle to cover all your expenses, even when money is tight. You get creative and find smart ways to make your money last. Oh, I see. Can you give an example? Absolutely. Imagine this. Despite working long hours, Sarah still struggles with making ends meet because her rent keeps increasing. Ah, got it. It's about managing money wisely when you don't have a lot. Exactly. And sometimes it means finding new ways to save money or earn a little extra. I see. So life is difficult if you're just making your ends meet. That's right. Now let's explore another expression. To miss the point. Imagine you're listening to a story, but you don't understand the main idea. You've missed the point. It's like the meaning went over your head. When you miss the point, it means you didn't understand what something really means. Oh, I get it. Can you give an example? Of course. Imagine someone is explaining a joke, but you don't find it funny because you didn't understand why it's humorous. You missed the point of the joke. Ah, I see. So missing the point is when you don't get the main idea or the meaning of something. Exactly. Here's another important phrase for you. To get into something. What does that mean? To get into something means to start doing or become interested in something new. It's like opening the door to a new hobby or skill. For example, if you're really enjoying painting lately, you can say, I've been really getting into painting. Oh, I see. So it's about starting something new or finding a new interest. Exactly. It's all about exploring and trying out different things to see what you enjoy. Thank you for all these advanced English phrases, teacher. How about some advanced words now? Of course. Let's start with a word you'll find quite useful, apparent. What does it mean? Apparent is an adjective used to describe something that is obvious, visible, or clear. However, it's important to note that just because something seems apparent, it doesn't mean it's necessarily true or factual. It's like seeing something from a distance. It might look a certain way, but there could be more to it than meets the eye. Can you use it in a sentence? Certainly. Imagine you're reading a mystery novel and the detective notices something suspicious about a character's behavior. You could say, the detective's keen observation made it apparent that the suspect was hiding something. Ah, I see. So, apparent is like something that's easy to see or understand, but it might not be the whole truth. Exactly. Another word to add to your vocabulary is derive. What does that mean? Derive is a verb that means something comes from or is based on something else. It's like when you get an idea from reading a book or when a new product is created using existing technology. Can you give a more detailed example like using it in a sentence? Of course. Imagine you're studying science and you learn about photosynthesis, the process by which plants make their own food. You could say, the process of photosynthesis derives energy from sunlight to produce glucose for the plant's growth. Ah, I see. So, derive is about something coming from something else, like how plants get energy from sunlight for growth. You've got it. Another word for your growing vocabulary is monitor. What does that word mean? Monitor means to keep an eye on or check the condition or progress of something. Can you give an example of how to use it in a sentence? Absolutely. Imagine you're taking care of a garden and you want to make sure the plants are getting enough water. You could say, I need to monitor the soil moisture regularly to ensure the plants stay healthy. Oh, I see. So, monitor is about keeping track of something to make sure it's okay. Exactly. Whether it's keeping an eye on a project, tracking your health, or watching over a situation. Another word is theory. I'm sure you've come across this word before. Yes, I've heard it, but what does it mean? Theory is a noun that refers to a general idea or belief. It's like having an explanation or understanding about something, even if it's not proven yet. Can you give an example? Certainly. Imagine you're learning about gravity in science class. The idea that objects are attracted to each other is a theory. So you could say, the theory of gravity helps us understand why things fall towards the Earth. Ah, uh, I see. So theory is like a general idea or belief about something, even if it hasn't been proven. You're right. Oh, it seems like the bell has rung. It's time for you to head back to your class, Celine. Oh, already. Time flies when we're learning interesting things. Absolutely. Learning can be so engaging. Remember, if you have any more questions or need further clarification on anything, don't hesitate to ask.
Thank you, teacher. I'll make sure to remember that. See you at our next session. You're welcome, Celine. Have a great class. See you next time. Did you enjoy the conversation? Try using this with your family and friends. Thank you for watching the Learn American English channel where you learn naturally so you can speak naturally. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.